Hello again, uh, we're looking at the restoration of the sunken sidecar um, using electrolysis. Um, I've just videoed the removal of the water and uh, first examination. Let's go in and have a look at a bit more detail of the restoration work that's happened with 60 hours of electrolysis. This is the electrode I used and as you can see, I don't know if that's visible, but uh, we have quite a build up of kind of rust on there. Obviously the reverse reaction of what was going on on the sidecar chassis. Um, I've gone over this, uh, I think it's gooseneck fitting, and you can see the, the detail of the nuts has come up really well. Um, one side is better than the other, I think that's the side that was at the top, and should we say, on the opposite side to the, the other main electrode. That's true also for this plate area, the edges were uh, fairly easy to remove and the center is is hardly attached at all and I think think that's because the electrical flow was from here and on the top um, it was obviously on the other side so it's further for the electricity to go so it obviously prefer to go on the underside apparently um, the other interesting thing is of course it's a in dispension type suspension unit with uh, the suspension being performed by rubber a rubber centre so of course the the swinging arm and spindle is electrically isolated from the main chassis so that's a, an error from me but of course we can see that's not been touched by the process at all um, something else that might be worth pointing out is if we go over this is where I've just brushed it off with my finger if we go over it with a, a wire brush very briefly and then a pot of water. I don't know if you can see that but that's now shiny shiny metal. It's pitted but there's no rust left on there. The other little experiment I'm going to do is on these nuts because they're so so well removed of rust I'm going to try and on camera see if they'll undo. So if I can position that there so you can all laugh when it shears off or or not. As always the last one is a pain because it's spinning the entire bolt round. Of course I'm using a metric socket set and these are definitely not metric so nothing fits quite as well as it should. Anyway you can see there the nuts were remarkably um, easy to remove. So uh, there we have it, another instalment of a big bath of electrolysis.